Hello and welcome to Professor Pincushion. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this really unique pocket. So the pocket is closed by an exposed zipper, which you can see right here. Now this is going to be found on lightweight outerwear, such as a fleece jacket. Let's go ahead and get started. For my example, my zipper pocket is going between my front piece and then the side front piece. Now I'm going to be starting with the front and that's the, this is the front right here. So this is the bottom of the front and the top of the front is going this way. This seam right here is the seam that's going to be connected to my side front pieces. Now I have two front pieces so I'm going to be doing this for both pieces since I'm going to have a zipper on each side. So on my pattern, I have two marks indicating where the pocket is going to be. So we're going to start working in this area first and I need to reinforce this area since I'm going to be eventually cutting into this. So the very first step I'm going to do is I'm going to do just short stitches or a short length of stitches about here to here, about an inch that's going to go past this dot and that's going to reinforce the area. Now I just need to do it the seam allowance from the edge. So whatever your seam allowance is, minus 5 eighths, I'm going to go in 5 eighths of an inch and then sew about an inch here. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm just doing a regular straight stitch. Don't forget to do your back stitch and use a matching color thread if you can. I'm going to be using a contrasting thread. You can see my stitches right here. Next you're going to come in and you're going to cut where your mark is but you don't want to cut into your stitches. So you can see here's my cut mark right here, starting at the raw edge, going towards my circle, but not going past the stitches at all. Then you're going to take everything between these two dots and you're going to fold over. Now I'm looking at the right side of my fabric. So you're folding over to the right side, whatever your seam allowance is. So my case is 5 eighths of an inch and then you're going to pin it into place. Now I have one already done. This is my other side. So you can see it's already pinned. I'm going to take it to my machine and right here at the top I'm going to do a basting stitch. Your basting stitch is your longest stitch on your machine. You don't have to worry about any back stitching and you'll notice that I'm doing it as close to that fold line as possible. After you finish basting this you're going to want to trim it so you're leaving just a quarter of an inch left on there. Next we're going to start putting in our zipper. So I have my seven inch zipper for your pattern. It may be a little bit different, but mine requested a seven inch zipper and I'm gonna open it up. This is still right side up. The fold apart is on the right side. You're gonna take this side of the zipper and you're gonna lay it so it's also right side up. So the zipper right side up, the fabric right side up, and the teeth are going to be on this folded side, but you're just gonna extend the teeth just a little bit. So if I was to flip this over and look at the other side, You'll see the teeth, but not much of the tape. So that's what you want. Now the bottom of the zipper is going to go at the bottom of your shirt. So I'm going to put the stop there and you'll have this extra tape. Now this is going to be on the right side and we don't want to see this tape just hang off here. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold it under itself. Then you're going to place the end at the end of your pocket area and you're going to pin it into place. So let me grab some pins here so I can start doing that. And then I'm just going to go along here, pin it all in, and you'll notice my zipper extends this pocket opening a little bit. That is fine. We're going to go ahead and leave that just as it is. So let's pin over here. And again, just like we did down here, you're going to take this top part, you're going to fold it under itself. So we're hiding that raw edge of the zipper tape. And then I'm going to pin it. All right, and then I'll finish pinning this when we get to it. So once everything is pinned, we're not worried about this side yet, There's just this one. We're going to do a basting stitch. So you're going to go down the edge of the zipper teeth to the end going to go across, then up this outer edge, and then across again. So you're basically making a box. Once you have the basting stitch, you can then stitch over it with a regular stitch. So I have one here 
where I just did a hand basting stitch real fast, just so you can clearly see the pattern that I'm stitching it. So along the teeth, across the top, down this outside edge, and then across the bottom. When sewing in your zipper, make sure that you use a zipper foot. Now I'm getting close to the bottom. I started going next to the zipper first. Once I get close to the bottom, I'm gonna put my needle down, lift my foot, and then I'm just gonna zip up my zipper. That way that zipper head won't get in the way. And then I can finish sewing down to the bottom. Now when I'm going the other direction and I'm getting close to the top, I'm gonna do the same thing in reverse and just unzip the zipper again. So now I'm getting close to the bottom. I'm gonna put my needle down, lift my foot, and pivot. So across the end. Now I'm gonna do a back stitch because what I discovered, let's just put this down, is that if I lift my foot and now I'm gonna be pivoting in the other direction, so now I'm gonna be sewing on this outside edge, now all of a sudden my foot gets in the way because I kind of have a wider zipper foot. If you have a skinny one, this might not be an issue. So what I could do, either I can just sew out a little bit more, but I'm pretty close to the edge of my tape now. We'll take my needle out, pull this out, cut my threads, and then I'm just gonna switch to the other side and then start over again. This way I don't have to worry about the foot running right on top of those zipper teeth because that might not look so good. So I'm gonna start again at the bottom. I'll do a couple of back stitches and then just sew to the top and sew the ends again. So you're just creating that rectangle. I'm flipping over the front so I'm looking at the wrong side I'm gonna finally bring in my pocket piece. Now this pocket piece you'll notice also has two marks. These marks are gonna match these marks which are the opening of our pocket right here. This is wrong side facing up. You're gonna go right side to pocket to wrong side. So essentially both of them are wrong side facing up. So I'm matching up my dots with the edge of the pocket opening and whatever's left here, I'm gonna make sure that these edges match up. So I'm gonna pin all the way around this area once everything is lying flat. And we're gonna be doing a basting stitch, whatever your seam allowance is from the raw edge here. So it's gonna go like this. But you need to make sure that you don't accidentally stitch the zipper. So I like to pin it out of the way. So let me show you this example. This is my other one. So you can see my basting stitches just on the curved area and then this bottom area. If I was to flip it over to the right side, you can see how I pinned my zipper to the inside. That way I'm gonna make sure that I don't accidentally stitch through it. Once you have your basting stitch done, you can take it to your machine, looking at the right side and do a top stitch right on top of that basting stitch. The top stitch is a finishing stitch, so don't forget to do your back stitching on both ends. And I'm just doing a regular length stitch. Now because I did that basting stitch, I can look at the front side of my garment and know exactly where I need to stitch to make sure that I catch my pocket at that 5 8 mark. Now I'm ready to continue sewing my other seam, which is gonna be on this side of the pocket. So in my case, that's the side front. So this is the front, side front goes over here and I actually have that piece right here. So this is gonna be sewn like this over here. I'm gonna place my pieces right side to right side, just like you're doing a regular seam. Matching the raw edges, matching any notches in the end here, and I'm gonna pin my seam as normal. You're gonna to go to your machine and you're gonna stitch a normal seam, whatever it is for your pattern. Mine's 5 8 But when it comes to the pocket area, you need to be very careful when you're sewing it. We're gonna flip this open, because I need to make sure that I'm not sewing into the zipper. When I'm sewing here, I can sew above the zipper. I can sew, this is my inside pocket piece here. So I can sew right alongside that and then above the zipper here. So if you need to fold this a little bit out of the way, so you're sure you're not sewing that once you're sewing these two pieces together. My side front is now attached to my front with the zipper right in the middle. So now we're just repeating the process. You're gonna take these ends of the zipper 
you're gonna fold it under. Sometimes it's easier if you unzip it. Fold it and you're gonna pin it, but this time we're pinning it to this side. So you're just gonna repeat the process with doing your basting stitch first. So you're basting along the teeth, along the folded edge, along the outer edge, and then along this bottom folded edge here. After you baste it, I would just test out your zipper and make sure that you can still unzip it no problem once it's basted. And if it's good, then you're just gonna stitch over your basting stitch as normal. And I have my other one done. So let's bring this one on. So now this is fully stitched into place. We can test it and it zips fine. And my favorite part, testing out pocket. So there you go. So that's how you do your exposed zipper pocket. New tutorials are released weekly, so please subscribe to be notified of the next release. Make sure to check out our other videos and visit ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 200 sewing video tutorials, including our exclusive premium content. Our premium membership is only $5 a month for unlimited access and only available at ProfessorPincushion.com. Also, don't forget to download our mobile app for videos on the go. Thanks for watching.